let's talk some more about forgiveness and forgiving. Now, one of the things that I think it's really important for us to do is to be a little bit cognizant of the things that are coming out of us. And I, I realize that in our culture, people say things and and do things, but they they primarily say and they put into writing, they put into social media and all these different kinds of things. They, they, they reveal what's in their heart by what's coming out of their fingers, what's coming out of their mouths, what's coming out of their lips. It, out of the abundance of the heart, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so I want to ask that you would, over this week, begin to observe what's coming out of your mouth. What kinds of thoughts, what kinds of, of things are coming out of you? Are they full of judgment? Are they, are they bitter? Do they have any hardness to them? And ask the Holy Spirit to draw these things to your attention. And then when he does, take the time to work through forgiveness for whoever it is that you're mounting a defense against, or you're, you're accusing, or you're speaking or critically about any of those different things, spend time for one, forgiving, and then repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you for a critical and a judgmental heart. America is heading in a very, or not heading, we are already well entrenched in a, a judgmental, critical kind of tone nationally. We, as Christ followers, don't buy it. We don't become critics when everyone else is. We forgive. We extend mercy. We ask questions. We are seeking understanding. We are gracious instead of we don't fire back when we're fired upon. But when these things start to stew in us, when we stew in our own juices, what ends up happening is we need to spend time with the Lord and spend time forgiving. Once we do, our equilibrium will return. And then we can continue to behave and to think with grace.